the only two things that are constant on this earth between that have been this way since the beginning is this, the movement of the sun to our earth and the moon movement to our earth and that fucking dog over there that's ruined my video shut up bitch anyway as I've said the Voynich is a two-part deal and I'll show you what some of the writing says these are actually windows when they can travel between stars that's what these stars are right here but you say well how can it work or this one how can it work all of the circles have a line right through here or a spot where they have to point it to see where they are where the earth is compared to where they want to go the earth and the sun because if you landed suppose that you had an alien ship and you landed by Stonehenge let's just say in one day and you could plot the sun to the earth and record it then you know that if you phased back to your planet and they, they, they go in a straight line that you, you'd have a safe trip the only thing about um, traveling through the ether according to Tesla's notes is that uh, the travel is instantaneous but the one caveat is that you can't go through a solid object now like I said the, the universe is always turning All right. There are times when these windows are open, these straight, straightforward windows are open, and times when they're closed. What I mean by closed is when there is a um, object in the middle of your flight line right here. See? What these tell is where the windows are open or closed and they use the sun now it may not be our sun but for every mystery you have to start somewhere or the moon you see right here let's use this one right here for instance this is a place and these are stars you can see the graduations right here Okay. Now, everyone's looked at these and said, well, okay, they're real neat, but what do they do? They, they're exactly like Stonehenge, what Stonehenge does. Stonehenge can only be accessed or made sense of from about a thousand feet up in the air. We all know when Stonehenge was made that uh, man could not fly, so probably man didn't make it. We also know that if you will use Google Earth, and you'll Google all the big crop circles that have, have occurred in the world, you will find the majority of them, the majority of those crop circles are all around Stonehenge or to the north of Stonehenge. And they only occur at certain times in the year or when the windows are open. That is where we can start. Now, I know a lot of this may sound far fetched or implausible or impossible remember a few years ago these were totally implausible impossible all of these things I mentioned and I'm talking about the future I want to see man use this technology now you can see the graduations all around here the truth of these of this manuscript has been hidden in plain sight because it's a two-part deal. It needs a battery. Let's just say it needs a battery, theoretically, to make it work. But what, what kind of battery? The one thing I noticed is that every one of these circles has a dot right in the center of them. Now you can say, well, yes, the dot was used to, um, to make the circle. 
Yes, you could say that, but why not erase it? Because the dot has to be there. It is, it is the center. There's 365, 360 degrees of area here. And these all point towards stars. The ladies are the stars. These could be emerging stars. These could be settled stars. But what I believe they are is stars or planets with other white women on them, for better or worse. That this planet could have been seeded because we've always looked for the missing link in Europe and everywhere else between modern man and ancient man, we haven't found it. What if there is no missing link? What if Europe was seeded with pregnant white women? Now I know it's far out theory. I could be wrong. But the voyage is here. We can't just dismiss it.